Good morning students and welcome to today's maths class. So in the last class we finished with the chapter addition and subtraction. Correct. So in today's class we will be learning, we will be uh, starting a new chapter that is called multiplication and division. So what is multiplication? Multiplication and division not only, uh, are uh, two of the four basic operations that are used in mathematics. So the four basic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So among the four we already studied addition and subtraction. So today we will be starting with multiplication and division. Okay, so what is the meaning of multiplication? Multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. So for example, if I tell you to uh, add two five times, so you will say doing two plus two plus two plus two plus two five times like that, correct? So that gives you 10. So instead of adding 2 5 times like that, what you can do is you can just multiply 2 into 5. Because since I am telling add 2 5 times, you can just do 2 into 5. So how much is 2 5 is a? 2 5 is, a is 10. So even if you add 2 5 times or you multiply 2 with 5, you get the answer as 10 only. So multiplication is nothing but it is repeated addition. Okay, and it is uh, represented or shown by the sign of cross that is shown here in the in blue color. So this is the sign for multiplication. Okay, so that is the meaning of multiplication. Now moving on to division. What is the meaning of division? Okay, so division is nothing but it is. It is separating or splitting of uh, things or items into equal parts or groups. Okay, so it is the process of splitting into equal groups or parts. Now, if I tell in your class there are 30 students. Okay, in your class there are 30 students and I have 60 chocolates. So, I want to distribute the chocolates equally among all the 30 students. So, how am I going to separate them? I am going to divide them equally. So, when I give, uh, so each of you all will get 2 2 chocolates. So, I divided those 60 chocolates among all of you all, among 30 students in the class equally. Okay, so this is called division, the process of splitting into equal parts or groups. Alright, then you all have studied what are the properties of multiplication so what are the different properties of multiplication one is the change in order or uh, commutative property so when you change the order of two numbers when you're multiplying them you can multiply them in any order so a into b will be equal to b into a so a and b are nothing but they're just representing two numbers okay so if i do 3 into 4 3 4 is how much it is 12 same way 4 into 3 is also 12. So whenever I am multiplying two numbers, even if I change their order of multiplication, the final product remains the same. Okay, the next property is associative property or changing order of three numbers. So here you can group the numbers in any combination. So you have three numbers to multiply. You can multiply the three numbers in any order. So here how they have done 2 into 4 into 5. Okay, so first they have multiplied 4 into 5 which is 20. And then multiply 20 into 2 which is 40. Then on the next time they have multiplied 2 into 4 first. 2 into 4 is 8 and 8 into 5 is 40. So you multiply them in any order your final product remains the same. Okay, so that's called associative property. Then identity property or multiplication by 1. So when you multiply any number by 1, the product will be that number itself. Okay, so when you multiply any number by 1, your final answer remains the number itself. So 6 into 1 will be 6, 100 into 1 will be 100 only. Okay, uh, 9 into 1 will be 9. Okay, so this is multiplication by 1. Then the next property is called the zero property or multiplication by zero. So whenever you multiply any number by zero, your product is zero. Okay, so 9 into 0 here they have said as zero. 
so 10 into 0 will be 0 20 into 0 will be 0 68 into 0 will be 0 okay so this is multiplication by 0 so these are some of the properties you all have studied previously okay so now what we'll do we'll just do a quick warm-up activity that is given in your textbook first solve those problems and then we'll move on to the next topic that you're going to learn okay so first question in the warm-up activity what do we have build up the table of uh, 12 using tables of 10 and 2 so let's see how to do that first so here what they have done 10 into 1 is equal to 10 so 10 ones are is 10 then 2 ones are is 2 so 10 plus 2 they have added both the products so you got 12 so 12 into 1 or 12 ones are is 10 plus 2 12 then 10 twos are 20 and 2 twos are 4 so 12 twos are will be 20 plus 4 24 okay then 10 and uh, 10 threes are 30 and 2 threes are 6 so 12 threes are will be equal to 30 plus 6 36 so same way let's complete this table now so 10 we finished 10 threes are so what do we have after 10 threes are we have 10 into 4 or 10 fours are which is 40 correct plus now we'll take 2 2 fours are so 2 fours are is equal to how much 2 fours are is 8 so now 12 fours are will be how much 12 fours are will be 40 plus 8 which is 48 12 fours are is 48 now next 10 fives are how much is 10 fives are 10 fives are is 50 okay 10 times 5 is 5 same way 2 into 5 or 2 fives are 10 okay so 12 fives are will be how much 12 into 5 which is equal to 12 into 5 is equal to 50 plus 10 50 plus 10 which is equal to 60 so then next we have 10 6 -a. how much is 10 6 -a? 10 6 -a is uh, okay I'm sorry uh, so you I hope you'll have written till 10 5 -a. we'll start with 10 6 -a now So, 10 6 -a is 60. Okay, 10 6 -a is 60. Then, 2 6 -a is how much? 2 6 -a is equal to 12. So, 12 times 6 or 12 6 -a will be equal to 60 plus 12, which is equal to how much? It is 72. Okay, same way you have to go on building this. 12 table so 10 into 7 then 2 into 7 then add those two products okay you'll get rest of the table all right so complete rest of the table for your homework now let's do the questions further which are there so here complete the multiplication fact and write two corresponding division facts okay so let's see the example they've given 8 into 6 48 so, 48 divided by 8 will be 6 and 48 divided by 6 will be 8. Okay, so 7 into 9. How much is 7 9? The 7 9 the is 63. Okay, so what will be the division fact here? It will be 63 divided by 9. Uh, I am using this symbol because I can't, uh, there is no division symbol here. So, 63 divided by 9 is equal to 7 and Six, uh, 63 divided by 7 is equal to 9. So you will use the division symbol properly as shown. Okay. Now 6 into dash is equal to 54. 6 how many times is 54? 6 nines are is 54. So the division fact will be 54 divided by 9 is equal to 6. Or what is the next one? 54 divided by 6 is equal to 9. Okay, then 7 7s are how much is 7 7s are? 7 7s are is 49. Okay, then what will be the division fact? 
49 divided by 7 is equal to 7 and the other one also will be same 49 divided by 7 is equal to 7 because we are multiplying the number with itself both the division facts will remain same okay so this was question number two now let's do the next question on the next page all right question number three fill in the blanks with the quotient and the remainder as shown in the example okay so here we have to write the quotient and the remainder so first we divide and we write the quotient remainder so 39 divided by 6 now does 39 come in 6 table no it doesn't so uh, which is a number closer to 39 in 6 table we have 6 6 is our 36 correct so we'll write the quotient as 6 and then remainder how much is 39 minus 36 it is 3 so remainder is 3 then 85 divided by 9 how much is 85 divided by 9 now 85 again doesn't come in 9 table so we'll see the number nearest to 85 which is 81 in 9 table 9 nines are 81 so 9 is the quotient and 85 minus 81 which is 4 is the remainder okay next one 58 divided by 7 so 7 eights are is 56 7 eights are is 56 so 58 minus 56 is 2 so quotient is 8 remainder is Okay, then 64 divided by 8. Now, 64 comes in 8 table, correct? 8, 8 is 64. So, quotient here is 8. 8, 8 is 64. And 64 minus 64 is 0. So, remainder is 0. Then, 79 divided by 8. Now, does 79 come in 8 table? It doesn't. So, that means uh, we will see a number closer to 79 in 8 table, which is 72. So, uh, 8, 9 is 8. 72 so 9 is a quotient and 79 minus 72 is how much it is 7 so 7 is the remainder okay now same way g h and i you will do for homework g h and i you will do for homework okay next one find the products 23 into 3 first what you will do you will multiply 3 with 3 how much is 3 3 is a it is 9 and then you will multiply 3 with 2 3 2 is a is 69 so that is 69 then 31 into 4. So 4 ones are 4. Correct. And 4 3 is a 12. So 124. Then 25 into 5. So first you multiply 5 into 5. So 5 into 5 is 25. So you write 5 and carry over 2 to the next place. Okay. Then 5 2 is a 10 and 10 plus 2 12. So 125. Okay. So 420. 3 into 8. So, how will you do 403 into 8? 8 threes are is 24. So, we write 4 and carry over 2. Then, 4 zeros are is 0. So, that is 0 and 0 plus 2 which we have carried over. That will be 2. And 4 fours are is how much? 8 fours are is how much? 8 fours are is 32. So, the answer is 30. 3224. Okay. E and F again you will do for homework. Question E and F do for homework now fifth fifth question a1 here they have told divide by short method so i hope you'll remember how to do that so here we have 351 divided by 9 so first we know that 9 uh, 4 is 36 but we cannot take 36 so we'll take 9 3 is 27 okay then how much is 35 minus 27 it is 18 sorry it is 8 so that will uh, will write 8 near 5 so 85 so 9 nines are 81 85 minus 81 is 4 so that becomes 41 then 9 fours are 36 okay so that is uh, your quotient is 394 and remainder is what is the remainder remainder is 5 okay so this is how you do division by short method next one 217 divided by 7 correct 217 
okay sorry uh, we'll do it this is wrong we'll do it again okay so uh, 9 what we did what did we do 9 3 is a 27 then we carried over 8 to 1 so that is 81 okay so 9 9 is a 81 so the quotient is 39 okay then 217 divided by 7 so 7 3 is a 21 and 7 1 is a 7 so 31 is the answer then here 488 divided by 4 so 4 1 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 and 4 2 is a 8 so 122 okay using the properties of multiplication and division uh, to complete the following so 24 into 15 is equal to 15 into so this is changing order so 15 into 24 only so 315 into 0 is how much it will be 0 okay 0 divided by 93 now properties of division whenever you divide 0 by any number you will get 0 only so 0 divided by 93 will be 0 so 215 divided by dash is equal to 1. So when you divide a number by itself, your quotient is 1. So this is 215. So 215 divided by 215 is 1. Okay, then 15 into 10. How much is 15 into 10? It is 150. Okay, so when you're multiplying numbers like this, you see first multiply the non-zero numbers and see how many zeros are there and add it. Okay. So first here we will multiply 7 3s. 7 3s is 21 and 300 has 2 zeros. So we will write 2 zeros. 2100. Okay. Same way 28 into 100 also. 28 into 1 is 28. And how many zeros are there? 2 zeros are there. Then 9 into 4000. So how much is 9 4s? 9 4s is 36. And 4000 has 3 zeros. So we will write 3 zeros. Now 417 divided by 10. So, when you divide a number by 10, 100, then first you see how many zeros are there. So, in 10, we have 1, 0. So, the last, because 10 has only 1, 0, the last digit of the number will be your remainder. So, 7 is your remainder and the remaining digits will be your quotient. So, 41 is the quotient and 7 is the remainder. Same way, 685 divided by 10. So, here 68 is the quotient and... 5 is the remainder okay so this is uh, basically what you'll have learnt in multiplication last year so now what we'll do is in the next class we'll see how to do multiplication by one digit multipliers and two digit multipliers all right so we'll continue with multiplication in the next class okay students thank you please complete your homework so you all have E and F of question 4, G, H, I of question number 3 and then here uh, you have to complete this table. Correct? Alright. So do that homework and we'll continue with the chapter in the next class. Thank you.